everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is a, another addition to the gemstone i always say gemstone birthstone series this month is well there's a bit of a story actually i thought it was yellow this month i thought the um birthstone was yellow topaz and i don't know why because that's totally wrong it's actually several birthstones um it's pearl moonstone and alexand alexandrite which comes in two different colors so i don't really know what to do well no i do actually i was thinking i was doing yellow so obviously i got totally confused but then i when i looked up june birthstone just to double check it came up with this beautiful lilac -y tone of alexandrite and it matches my nails perfectly purely based on that I'm going to do the lilac -y tone and we haven't done a nice lilac -y one yet so you know it's nice to mix it up makes it exciting right just tie tying my hair up out the way okay to start I'm going to just use my face theory ultra glide face primer just rub it between my hands and then apply it all over For my foundation, I'm going to use my W7 Photo Shoot foundation in the shade Fresh Beige. I have not used this in a hot minute, and I really don't know why, because I love it. It's one of my favourite foundations, but I just haven't used it in a while, so I'm going to be using it again. To apply it and blend it out, I'm using this new sponge. I got this from Aldi. It was £1.49, and I'm really intrigued to try it. I want to see if it's good. It's quite firm 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 a bit um firmer than my real technique sponge but i pretty much got it for the color i love this color i'm obsessed with it if you couldn't tell from my bedding oh which you can't see but yeah i'm obsessed with mint green so i mainly picked it out for that but i also want to try it out and see if it's any good so i'm just gonna go straight in oh this foundation's a little bit dark for me at the moment so we'll be blending that down the neck but I love this foundation so much this actually isn't bad this sponge seeing as it's £1.49 it's definitely better than the Primark sponges they are ridiculously th firm unless they've changed them um because I haven't tried them in a while they might have changed them but when I last tried them yeah really really firm and I did not like it. This is still a little bit firm. Definitely prefer my Real Technique sponge. However, it's doing the job. I feel sad that I've dirtied it already. Now for concealer, I'm using my Urban Decay in the shade Light Warm. And then to set it, I'm just going to use um, my Ben Nye Banana Powder. You knew that was coming, didn't you? One thing I really like about this sponge is how pointed the tip is. My Real Technique sponge isn't as sharp as this at the top. And I really like how you can really, really get in there. So yeah, I'll probably keep using this. It's pretty good. I'm just doing a really quick base because obviously it's all about the eyes today and my eye makeup look. However, um, my last few, I've only done the eyes with you, so I thought I'd quickly do my base with you today, just to mix it up a little. Now going with my W7 Hollywood Bronze and Glow, I'm just dipping into the bronzer side of it, and I'm just going to press that in to contour and bronze. I'm also going to take the angled tip of this brush run it into the product and just do down the sides of my nose just to roughly contour it now i'm going in with my betty luminizer by the balm which is a lovely shimmery bronzer and i'm just gonna press that into my cheeks again and then buff it onto my forehead because today is a lilac-y look, I wanted to use sort of the most lilac-y toned blush I have just to pull the look together. It's actually pinky, but it's sort of 
got that it's actually like a shimmery pink but it's got that kind of cool tone to it so that's what i wanted to use it's by collection and it's just a soft glow blusher and it's in the shade for trouble so i'm just gonna press that into the apples of my cheeks going to quickly pop my brows on off camera because it takes me for he forever forever and you've seen me do it a million times but I am using my iconic London um, sculpt and boost eyebrow cushion so I will be back when they're all filled in right brows are on let's get cracking with the eyes oh no not the eyes calm down hang on right i'm gonna do my highlighter Duh. i finally joined the party and i bought becca champagne pop james and i went to cambridge at the weekend and they had a space nk there i just went in there to have a look because i've never actually been into a space nk store before let me tell you it's beautiful if you have not been in a space nk store you need to it's so luxe and i just had a wonderful time it was a pleasurable experience so i picked up becca champagne pop but it's a mini how cute um it was still 16 pounds obviously this is quite expensive but the normal one is 34 36 pounds and realistically like how long does it take you to go through a highlighter so i thought do you know what the mini's fine it will do me and it's really cute because you still get a little mirror in there as well so i've been wearing this every day since which i bet you thought would never happen did you seeing as i'm obsessed with mary luminizer by the balm and i wear it all the time i've tried other highlighters and i always go back to that i mean don't get me wrong i still love it but this could be on its way to being an equal favorite so i'm going to spritz my face with my nyx dewy finish spray then I'm going to go in with my usual highlighting brush, which is the Morphe M330. I think I picked up a little bit much then. And then I'm just going to highlight. I love this because it's like kind of a say peachy goldy colour and it's super intense um, and wet looking, not chunky, just like my um, Mary Lumen nicer by the balm which is probably why i love this like almost as much i'm not going to say as much just yet because i've only been using it a few days and i feel disloyal to mary so we'll see but it is amazing i mean look it's ridiculous now for the eyes i'm gonna start with this bh cosmetics modern matte 28 color eyeshadow palette and i'm going to dip into this lilac -y shade here these aren't the most pigmented um eyeshadows in the world they are nice and they do build up well but they're not that pigmented to start in this case it's very good because i want to use that as my transition shade so i'm just gonna sweep that into the old creasy bobs Just creating a wing shape. Okay, so now my transition is done. I'm going in with my Huda Beauty palette, which I have not used in forever. And I absolutely adore this palette. I love it. Gonna take a different brush and dip into the shade, woo, Amethyst, which is this, oh, for goodness sake, which is this really nice, deep, um, lilac -y purple. Not really sure that was the best description, but I know what I mean. And I'm going to place this on my outer V. I'm just going to keep building it up. I'm kind of like just packing it on and I'll blend it in a minute. But I just want to pack it on for now until it's a really nice intense purple. And then I'm going back in with the brush I use for my transition shade and just blending above the crease just to diffuse the darker purple a bit because i only want that to be on my lid and in my crease that shade then going back into the amethyst from the huda palette and i'm gonna be popping it on the inner part because i'm doing a halo eye which i haven't done in a very long time well i don't think i have anyway and i love halo eyes purple looks so nice with green eyes as well it really makes them stand out actually i'm gonna zoom you in a tad 
better. Now I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go into the colour Twilight, which is this stunning sort of duochrome eyeshadow. Oh, I love it. You wait until you see it on. I'm going to spray it because I always use my shimmers. Um, wet. It's a million times better. I'm just going to pop that in the centre of my lid. And I'm going to build this up because this is the sort of colour that you kind of use over another um, to remake it pop. But I didn't want it to be too close. Um, like the same colour all across because it might affect my halo eye slightly so I'm just going to keep building it up and once you've done that um, it goes much more opaque and then to really intensify I'm going to go in with this Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Black Light. Again, this is a duochrome, but this is kind of lilac. This kind of reflects pink, so it sort of balances out the uh, bluey reflect from my Huda Beauty eyeshadow. And I'm just, my brush is still wet, so I'm not going to spritz it anymore. And I'm just going to place that on top. Got a tiny bit of fallout, so I'm just going to sweep that away. Now I'm going to go back in with that amethyst and just pat that on the outer V. Excuse me! Sorry about the noise outside guys, unfortunately it's something I cannot control. Then I'm going to take this and the excess on the brush, I'm just going to blend sort of the outer half of my eye. I'm not going to do the full thing. Did I say excess brush? I meant excess shadow on the brush. And then just to deepen it up ever so slightly, I'm going to go back into the BH Cosmetics um, palette and just dip into that black and just add a tiny bit to the outer, outer V and the very inner corner. I'm not going to do the whole thing because I want there to be a bit of a gradient. I'm now going to go back into my Becca highlight and just use like, use like a really short shader brush. I'm going to dunk it in there, give it a spray and then just going to highlight my inner corner. Whoa! Yeah, I love this highlight. It's got like a really nice peachy undertone. I'm now just going to add a thin line um, of eyeliner to blend my lash band in. I'm going to pop on mascara in a minute, but before I do that, I'm just going to stick glue on my lashes. And I'm using the Sosu lashes. I think this style is exclusive to Primark, but they're so nice. They're not too intense they're more of a natural dramatic lash if that makes sense so it's kind of it's got a nice length that adds volume and it adds flutteriness without being over the top so i'm just gonna pop some glue on those so whilst the lash glue is drying i'm just sticking on a quick layer of my urban decay perversion mascara okay so whilst my lash glue is drying i'm going to be doing my lips and i'm going in with this essence lip liner in the color 06 satin mauve This is a really nice lip liner. It's really creamy um, and it's so cheap. I can't remember how much it is, but I remember it was really affordable. So I will um, either link it down below or write the price or whatever if I can find it. I'm actually going to ombre my lips a bit. So just filling the color in on the outer corners leaving the centre of my lips ready for the lighter colour. For the centre of my lips, I'm going to use this Inglot Lip Pencil. This is in the shade 14, and it's just this really nice lilac-y, nude, cool tone, pinky shade. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice colour. I love Inglot, but I don't have much of it, so I definitely need to purchase more of their stuff because they're so nice. I'm 
lashes around. I'm just gonna add a layer to my lower lashes. And this is the completed look. done boom so yeah this is it i hope you enjoyed this video i would love it if you would hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next one bye